Hey y'all. Well, your girl is back to show you some things that I bought today out on my little shopping excursion. I need to stay home, but I just, you know, I like to shop, so I do what I do. It brings me happiness and joy. So anyway, my mom and I, we went to this store that is kind of like a Ross, um, almost like equivalent to Ross, but they don't have as much as Ross does. I think that some of them probably have more things than others. It just depends on which store you go to and what you luck up on. If you all are hearing something in the background, it's the fan, I have the fan on. These high flashes have got on my nerve all day long. So anyway, we went to this store um, out in Calumet City here in Chicago, Illinois. And it's called DDS Discount Store. I don't know if you all are familiar with this store, but like I said, it's like another Ross. Um, this particular store out in Calumet City, they don't really have a lot of things in this store. But you can go in there, you can kind of, you can find some good deals. You can find, um, let's turn this TV down a little bit. You can find a lot of houseware stuff. Um, they do have clothing in there, like I said, because it is like a Ross. I can't never find any clothing in there. I just don't like anything that they have in there for clothing. But my mom always looks up, I don't, over in the plus size section. They don't really have a lot for the big girls. They really don't. Um, Ross has stuff for the big girls, but this store doesn't. So anyway, I didn't buy very much, um, but what I did buy, I wanted to show you guys, just in case you want to check this store out. Again, it's DD apostrophe S discount store, equivalent to Ross. Some of you all may be familiar with it. Some of you all may even have it in your city, probably have them all over the city. Um, this is the only one that I have shopped at in Chicago, in Calumet City. I haven't went to any other one, any other stores like this, except for the one out in Calumet City. Okay, so let me show you what I bought real, real quick. So, I have been looking for one of these, um, it's like, a, what is it? It's a spa tower. It's a luxury chrome finish. And you're supposed to put, be able to put it, like if you have a shelf in your shower area, which I don't, but even you can even put it on the side of the tub. So it's like, it's supposed to be like a, a corner um, uh, storing shelf thing. So what I'm gonna do with this is that instead of putting this in my bathtub, or my bathtub, excuse me one second, I gotta turn this fan off. Okay, sorry about that. So instead of putting this um, on the bathtub, in the bathtub or, and because I don't have anywhere to put it inside of the shower, I'm gonna put this on the back of my uh, toilet, you know, where the your tank is, I'm gonna sit this there. Now, the reason why I'm gonna do that is because my bathroom, whenever they finish this bathroom, I'll go in there and I'll show you all my bathroom. The reason why I'm not, I'm gonna put it there is because I'm always putting stuff on the back of the toilet on the toilet bowl. So I just figured that this would be a good place to put some extra stuff, some storage. I don't have a lot of storage um, in that bathroom. It's a big bathroom, it's a long bathroom but it's not a lot of uh, places to put things. So I have like um, like two towers in there where I keep stuff. And so I'm just gonna, that's what I'm gonna use this for. So they have things like this. They have a lot of um, organizing things in this store. Like I said, it's kind of like a Ross, but then it's kind of like, it, I wouldn't say that it's like Marshalls or TJ Maxx, but you know what? I think that they probably are all owned by the same company. I know Ross and this store definitely uh, is owned by th their sister stores. And Marshalls, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, they all are owned, they all are under the same umbrella and owned by the same company. So, if you wanna go in there and get you some houseware stuff, it's a good store to do that. You can find a lot of houseware 
in this store and very cheap, mind you, but good quality. They have a lot of pictures in there, different pictures that you can hang on your wall with different sayings. Really, really cute stuff. Um, and like I said, cheap, not, not expensive. So this was $5.99 and the retail value was $10. So for something just to store in your bathroom, $5.99, I mean, you can't, you can't beat that, right? Okay, so that's that. And then I bought... Just I went over to the um, hat section because I was looking for me um, some sun visors. And so I saw this one. And I thought this was really cute. That's Mickey. Hey, Mickey. And this was $9.99. Now, you and I both know this is going to be dirty as hell. But what I do with these sun visors is that, you know the little brush that you use um, for your edges? To, to smooth your sideburns down, I take that brush, put some soap on it, and I scrub in the inside of my sun visors. Because I work outside for a living and in the summer, even without wearing any makeup, you know, just the, the, the dirt that comes off of that um, garbage truck that blows back gets all into the crevices of your sun visors. This one, I may not wear this one behind the garbage truck while working because I just think this is so cute. And I, I know I have something to go with this, but it also it has a double stitch band here, right in here. And then it has this. And then of course, you know that it has the Velcro. So uh, to adjust it to however type of fit you want it to fit on your head. So I thought this was really cute. And um, it's Mickey Mouse and I love Mickey Mouse. And it was $9.99 and the comparative value was $12.99. So again, another store to give you some really great deals. Okay, so that's, that's Sun Visor. Other thing I bought that I really needed, I, run, I go through these so much. These are dish towels. And I have bought these from this store before. These, I have washed them. They are so good to have. They are like that, um, they're the uh, microfiber. Microfiber kitchen towels. That's what they are. I was looking for the, the, the word to describe what they are. So they're microfiber. And you get a set of 12. So you get purple, dark blue, light blue, aqua green deep green then a light green white um yellow and then a darker yellow no white yellow this is like a um that um tangerine orange and you get a deep orange like an orange orange and then you get a pink and this is like a coral so again I use these uh, dish towels a lot. Um, I need them because I don't use sponges on my dishes when I'm washing dishes, but you can take these and you can use these to clean the bathtub, anywhere around your house, your, any, on any of your countertops. Um, they, they don't stain, uh, they, they, they soak up and absorb whatever you're trying to wipe up, water or whatever. I just, I love these and they feel so, so soft. So these were $6.99. So for a set of 12 microfiber dish towel set for 12, come on now, $6.99 and the comparative value was $10. This is, that's, this is a good deal, good deal. And let me show you, uh oh, I'm about to drop it. Uh, let me see if I can pull one out so you can see. It's got, it, they, they are connected together. So let's see. So you can see, well, they really got them in here. So this is what it looks like as soon as I can get this little thing off of here. Hold on one second. Jeez. Let me make sure you ain't still in this. 
So this is how big it is. Oh my gosh, this is too much. It's just towels, just towels. See, this ain't nothing. So that's how big they are. I don't know why they got it all pinned down. Come on, who gonna steal these? Well, I don't know, people steal everything. So that's how wide they are. A lot, like I said, they're big. And you can put them in the washing machine, you can put them in the dryer, you can wash these. And they last a long time. Um, so you'll have them for a good little while. And like I said, they're not a heavy weight, um, but they're not thin or dingy either. And you just, you know, you know, take this, wipe the surfaces, it absorbs the, the water in here. And another thing I like about the the uh, these dish towels, the microfiber, they don't hold that bacteria like a sponge. They don't hold the bacteria. So I do, that's why I buy these because of that fact. And uh, what did it say? Ultra, yeah, like I said, absorbent. Ultra absorbent, absorbent. Um, reversible and lint and streak free ideal for polishing and cleaning so you also can use these to dust you know your, your cocktail tables or whatever um, let's see what else to say microfiber for kitchen, kitchen towels so you can use it for dusting, polishing and use it as kitchen towels and it does say, like I said, machine wash cold, mouth soap, uh, wash separately, non-chlorine, bleach only, gentle cycle, tumble dry low, do not iron. Okay, well, that's obvious. So if you're looking for some great microfiber towels for your kitchen and for dusting or for waxing, get these, because you get 12 and all of these pretty, pretty colors, it's the purple. Okay, 12, for $6.99. So I, I specifically went in there to get these because I know that they, uh, DDS carry these because I bought them before. And you also can find these, if you don't want them this big and this wide, they have some smaller in size that look like face towels. So you don't have to get them this size. I particularly like to get them this, this size because of the fact that they are, are the ultra absorbent and just cleaning, you know, having something large to wipe off the counter tops and cleaning the bathroom, the bathroom sink or the tub and washing dishes. I wanted something that, you know, would go a long way for, for cleaning. Okay, so that's the, these are they. Um, the, uh, like I said, the uh, they're called the Adobe, Adobe uh, Bristol set of 12 microfiber kitchen towels. So if you need them, get on over there and get them, Six ninety nine. All right, so that was that. And then what else? Oh. How many of you use these in your bathtub or your shower, I should say, bathtub shower? I love standing on mats. I do not like standing in my tub. Um, I have an old tub. I have a tub and then, you know, the shower. Some people now with everything being modern, they don't have a tub anymore. They just have the shower and then the tub is outside of the shower. You all know what I'm talking about. In the, those really luxury homes, this apartment building is so old. So I put this down in my tub um, because I don't like standing just on the uh, the surface of the bathtub. So I, I'm fanatical about using these mats. So I have one already that is uh, a clear mat and I just wanted something to like, I don't know why, I should have got it in green to match the shower curtain, but I didn't. But I wanted something uh, a little thicker. So this is, um, I don't know who made this. Oh, Spa Bath Mat. That's what it says. So it was 4 dollars 
and the comparable value was eight dollars okay so it's just a mat and then it has this here you know this sticks to the inside of the tub so i don't know how many of you all use these mats but that's what it looks like it's real long so that means that it'll go all the way in the tub how long it is. Well, can y'all see that? And again, you have these here that will stick on the floor of the bathtub. And so when you're standing on this, this is nice because some of them don't have the feet. This is what I call them, the feet of the mat. They don't have the feet. And you'll be in the shower, taking a shower, and that thing is constantly moving. I want to stand on something sturdy. So when, if, you, if you haven't tried a bath mat in your tub, um, try one. You'll really, really like it. it. Like I said, it helps you from slipping. Bath mats are really good for, for non-slippage. And when you say, well, what do you mean about slipping? I know y'all know what I mean. It helps you from falling your big ass in the shower and breaking your fucking. Did I say that? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to cuss. It helps you from breaking your leg or your ankle or your hip or your arm or your neck. I didn't mean to cuss. I'm sorry. I do cuss, but I didn't mean to say that. So that's what the bath mat, mat, bath mat does. The bath mat, and I know that I'm not telling you all nothing, something that you all don't already know. I know you all know this. Because if you as old as me, you know that uh, you are familiar with the bath mat. But that's what the purpose of bath mats are for to help you not slip in that shower. Um, because I don't know about y'all, I don't know. I have fallen in the shower getting out and I have fallen, get fell getting in and it ain't pretty. It ain't pretty at all. And see, I rent here. So if I fall up here and I fall through this damn flow or I fall and break this tub, I ain't got enough money to pay for that. I ain't got enough money. I don't make that much money. I don't have enough money. So this is why I use this for safety reasons. These, not only are they cute and make your bathtub look cute, but it's for safety reasons. So you don't break nothing. Nobody got time to be breaking nothing. So, that's the bath mat. And I got it in this hot pink color. They did not have it in green to match my shower curtain. I didn't see it. Um, so like I said, that's what I'm gonna use this for. And I, another thing I like about this mat, as opposed to the other mat that I have that is just a clear white plastic mat, is that it hurts my feet. When I sometimes get, uh, when I get in the shower, and Lord knows I don't know nothing, need nothing else to happen with my feet. But this is much more comfortable to stand on because of this material. And it does say soft texture and luxurious thickness for desirable smoothing, soothing comfort. It's skid resistant, like I said, suction cups, uh, machine washable. Cushion texture, 100% PVC foam. And I've never put these in a washing machine. Well, the other, this, this one I guess you can because of the, the, materi the, uh, the material. But the other one that I have, I just scrub it. You know, all in between the feed and everything, you know, to get the dirt, you know, from your, just from your body, you know. Um, so anyway, I got another bath mat. Um, you know, bad household stuff is expensive. So this store have a lot of really reasonable, um, cheap, cheap uh, household stuff. 
So if you know now that the world is opening back up, people are going to be having housewarming parties. You're going to have people that are getting married. I'm going to a wedding June 19th. You're going to have people getting married now. This is good for um, getting this for the college students getting ready to go away to college in September, and they may be having a trunk party. Go get them one of these mats. You know they may have they may be sharing a bathroom or you know maybe they go um next year they'll be going into their own apartment so this is really good to give the college student that's going away is this is good for a good housewarming uh gift this is good for somebody that's going into their first apartment and maybe have never used one of these bath mats and it was only $4.99 you can't beat that you can't beat it $4.99 some of these are 12 and 13 and 14 dollars especially in tj maxx and marsh i've seen them but this store ddns 4.99 all right so that's that and then i bought me a new skillet oh, let me tell you i don't like to cook but if I have to cook, I want to cook on something that is not going to give me no problems with trying to clean it later. That is one of the things that turns me off so much about cooking. So this is 21st May, 21st in May, non-stick interior, interior, stay cool, soft grip handles, quick, even heating, Echo friendly aluminum 11 inches square griddle. So, this is a griddle, a uh, non stick griddle matching. And, and my kitchen is red, so I got this one. Got the red handle right here. Put this over there somewhere. Red handle. My mother has one of these and she swears by it. Um, she loves her. Uh, griddle and so when chris is home on the weekend because during the week i don't cook i i just i get up too early i have to be up at 4 a.m i get up way too early to make breakfast um I, I just i can't do it even now that i've been off on medical i still don't get up and cook breakfast but this is good for putting your bacon your sausage putting an egg you can fry egg on here this is really, so when I saw this, I said, I want one of these. Because I think doing bacon and sausage on these, um, it cooks better. You know, it cooks better. And then it has this. Let me tell y'all something really funny. Now, I just told y'all I don't like to cook, right? But I like pots and pans. I do. I love pots and pans. It's something about pots and pans. I just love them. And I saw a red pots and pan set on, I think, QVC or HSN. I ain't gonna cook, but I just wanna sit them on my stove and make them look pretty. And my kitchen is red. So if you all saw my last video, I did the uh, video of the red air fryer. And so this is gonna go perfect. So I'm gonna cook my sausage, my bacon, fry egg. Um, you can even probably put some some pancakes on here. So you got a pancake batter and make some pancakes. Really, really uh, a neat thing to have. And it was $9.99 and the comparable value was $15. And you know that these things cost a lot more money depending on where you buy them from. So if you need one of these, get on over there. And get you one for $9.99. And like I said, I'm addicted. I, I'm not addicted, but I like pots and pans. I just like the way they look. They just look so pretty. I just, I, I don't know. I don't like to cook, but I like appliances. I'm a gadget girl, so that's probably why. Okay, so that was that. And then, oh, I needed a new umbrella. And I wanted an umbrella. I don't know if you all are familiar with this. Whoops. Hey. <laughs> I didn't mean for that to happen. Let me show you. So these two little buttons right here. You have one button that you hit and it goes up like it just did. And you have one button that you hit and it goes down. 
So let me see if I can demonstrate. Let me, I'm gonna hit this button, see what it do. Wait a minute, come on now. That's how it go down. This thing is the devil. Mm. So let's just say you out, and this happens to me a lot, especially when I ain't got my hair done. I don't give a doggone about it raining when I go get my hair done. But when I get in the car, say you got a bunch of bags in your hand, your groceries or what have you, and you get to your door and you're trying to hold the bags and you're trying to get the umbrella down and you can't get the umbrella down and it's raining or you just got your hair done. Like me. And you don't want to get your hair wet. And when you get in the car, you just want this umbrella to come down. Child, ain't nobody got time to be fighting with no umbrella when it's pouring down rain. But I like this. So this button here, this button, see the two buttons there? So, let's see if I can do it again. That makes it come up. And then when you're getting in the car and you holding it, you got your purse in your bag. Now where is the, oh there it goes. So you press that. Let me do it one more time. Let's see. This goes up. Okay. Go up. And then. And that snaps it back down. So I like I like these types of umbrellas. My mother has one and I was trying to take hers and steal it. But she wasn't having it, so I had to go buy my own. And the thing I like about I like I liked her umbrella because I didn't have to fidget. I just hit that button. I just hit that button. I know one thing. You making me look crazy on here. Okay. Yeah. It snaps down. So again, my mother was not giving up her umbrella. So I had to go buy me one. So I found one uh, today because I just bought another umbrella, but it doesn't do this. And I was really disappointed. I'm like, I don't want that. I don't want to be sitting there. I don't want to be standing there trying to pull my umbrella down. I want to be able to hit a button and I want it to be able to close. End story over, boom, bam. You understand what I'm saying? And then if you do that, your hair is not getting all wet in your bag or whatever, you pop that down and that's it. And you don't have to worry about getting wet. It just closes it right down instead of you struggling with it. And remember in the, in the old day, how we used to let up an umbrella and we used to have to pinch that thing in the middle and bring it down? You ain't gotta do that no more. So this is, I don't know what this umbrella is called. It doesn't. I was trying to look on. So it's well, I can tell you this. It's a nautica. If you know what that means, it's some kind of uh, I don't know. It's, it's a brand which I'm familiar with. Um, it don't really say what this the name of this umbrella is to do this. Hmm. Let's see. What's in here? Oh, auto open, auto close umbrella. Uh, pocket pocket size box, uh, folding umbrella, lightweight frame, fiberglass, ribs, uh, officers, oversized coverage. So this is what it looked like, showing you the directions. And like I said, I just bought it today, so it might be a little stiff. Um, but if it give me some problems in the garbage, it go. Because I ain't going to hardly be bothered with this. And this costs $8.99. $8.99 for that. And the comparative value is $28. They are very expensive. Because my mother, she paid a good little mint for her umbrella. And I remember that umbrella wasn't cheap. She has a blue one like this. And um, I think she got it off of QVC, if I'm not mistaken. But it's small like this, and uh, I just love that umbrella. So I have been looking for one, 
and couldn't find one and ran up on this one today. When I saw them two buttons, I said, now that's gotta be an open and closed closure uh, umbrella. And sure enough, it was. And so I couldn't leave it. I went on and got it. And you know, we all know umbrellas can be very expensive. I ain't never understood why an umbrella can be expensive. You know, like, can't be $5 or whatever. You know, it's always some outrageous number. So that's that. This is uh, Nautica. And uh, I don't know, it's not letting me put the slip cover over it or whatever. I ain't gonna fool with it. I'm so sleepy, y'all. I stayed up too late last night. And then, 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 last, last, last. Guacamole. I love guacamole cheap chips. I love them. Um, they got 140 calories in them. Um, I love them. This is called the Gucci chip, the original Gucci chip, but they are so darn good. You know, when you get to the checkout, and for those of you that shop in Ross, you know, they always got the snacks right there at the checkout line. They know what they be doing. They know what they be doing. They said, yeah, they put them right here. Put them right here when they get ready to go out the door. I bet you they pick up some because they, they've been shopping in here for hours, and now they hungry. It's a trick from the pit. It's a trick. Why you got snacks at the door when people walking out? And then I bought these. And these are called Candy Pop Popcorn Butterfingers. Baby! <laughs> what? When I tell y'all these are fat in a mug? They wrong. As two left shoes putting this at the depth. I bought Chris a bag and me a bag. Of course, he's eating up all of his. And then he came in here and asked me for mine. Damn, can I have anything? Can I have some? But well, he ain't here during the week. It's love my baby but he greedy as hell anybody 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 listen to me listen to me don't you have something that you need done this summer that he can make some money because he got to feed himself i can't keep going on like this i cannot i got to feed him oh, I'm So anyway, these are these are called the candy pop um, popcorn butter things. This blessed my soul. My whole soul was blessed. Not just partial. My whole soul was blessed. When I ate some of these, big fat. Not just fat. Fat, 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 fat. Fat. Get you some of these. If they don't have them at Ross or this store, you better go on Amazon and see if they got it. You better hunt these down. Because, baby, when I tell you, come home from work or uh, from a long day, you've had a stressful day. Mofos got on your nerve. Everybody got on your nerve. And you want a good snack just to relieve your stress and your anxiety. I always say this. You want to relieve some stress and you want to feel stress, less stress because of what's going on in the world or what's going on at work. Put something in your mouth and eat what you desire and what you like. You'll be all right. You forget all about what happened that day. Once you put something in your mouth that's to your liking. I'm just saying. Get you some of these. And last, 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 last but not least. 
I'm a candy junkie. Yes, yes, say it with me. She's a candy junkie. It's another 12-step program that I need to be in as soon as possible. I love candy. So if any of you men out there are watching this video and you want to take me out on a date and you want to get to my heart and if you want me to make not make love because this ain't enough for, me to, for us to make love for me to make love to you but if you want to make me happy I love these. This is my man. This is my boot thing. This is my dip offs. This is my cuddle buddy. What? I leave these in my bed. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I see you judging me. Don't. I'm single. I gotta lay next to something sweet. I gotta lay next to something that I can reach over. And that's what I do. I reach over down in that down in the bag like it's my man. Put it in my mouth. Going back to sleep. I ain't got nobody laying next to me but this. Right here. These sour patches. Baby! I'll fight you over these. I will fight you over these. We might break up if you put your hand down in this. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how fine you are. I don't care if you the best man in the world. I don't care how you make me feel. I don't care if you make my toes curl. Put your hand down in these cabbage patches and don't ask me, can you have some? You'll never get no more. You know what I mean? Don't mess with these. Don't do it. They're so good. sleep with these. Yes, I do, really. Don't judge me. Well, guys, that concludes my day of shopping. Well, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I stayed up to 2 o'clock uh, this morning. Yes, I, well, yeah, Friday night. I stayed up to 2 o'clock in the morning. And I'm sleepy. Because I had to get all that crap out of these closets so they can get the air conditions out and put the air conditions in. I got too much stuff. But guess what? I'm going shopping tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going tomorrow. I'm probably going to go to Marshall's tomorrow. Anyway, that's what I do. That's what I do. That's why it's called what? CC's fashion is my passion, boo. That's what this channel is called. Come on, come on now. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Well, y'all have a great night. I'm getting ready to go to bed because I'm sleeping. I'm finna snatch these eyelashes off. Yeah, I took them off. I'm going to go to bed. Have a good night. See y'all tomorrow. Maybe. Depending on what I buy. But I'm going shopping. Me and my mama. We going. If I buy something, I'll be back on here and let y'all know. Good night.